Hey guys, all right, so as you can see, the rye is just about as high as the tractor. Rye, that's rye, winter wheat, triticale. Um, so I don't know if you all can see this or not. So that looks, hopefully at least, like it's just mowed. Uh, but I wanted to show this here a lot of ways to do food plots outside of what I normally do. So I'm a huge advocate for no-till. But I have a lot of guys who still want to till. Um, so I wanted to show some guys some different ways. Or guys don't want to use herbicide. So we're not using herbicide here, um, at least in the spring. We used it last fall. We got a great stand. The majority of the field has very little weed pressure. We have great fixation, balance, or crimson, medium red, hairy vetch in here. We're only going to get... 60 90 days out of this crop before putting in our fall blend so we're not overly concerned if there is a little bit of weed pressure in here in the spring and summer we mostly want it to feed the soil and we want to feed deer but i actually tilled this here behind me so that's all uh what i would consider a conventional till so i'm basically using the tiller almost like a crimper um, but what i'm doing is i'm also mowing at the same time so this tractor is kind of unique that I have a, a belly mower and a tiller on the back and I can run both PTOs. But if you don't have this, you could do something similar. You just have to come back and mow with the bush hog. But I'm mowing every other direction. So if it's blowing this way, then the next time I'm blowing that way. And what that allows me to do, as you can see, is anywhere where I did till, I'm just trying to till, I'm just trying to till at about a half inch. So really not trying to till very hard. But as you can see, I just blow back this thatch right over the top so okay here i broke up a turn up cool hopefully you, you all can see that turn up yep and then i blew that thatch back so it almost is like a no-till i mean it's it's super conservation tillage um and what my buddy is he's out in front of me actually so he already seeded this so i'm i'm mowing really high as high as it'll go i don't know five inches high and lightly tilling just to get that seed in since we don't have moisture in the forecast and we're not using herbicide. So I'm using that as the termination method. Um, and then I'm blowing that thatch back over to cover the seed and also to help hold moisture, any dew that we can hold, etc. Versus if I just tilled this field completely, we'd be um, much more susceptible to drought. Not saying this will be 100% success because it's been so dry. Uh, but at least it gives us a better opportunity. So uh, just a quick tip, guys, on how you can still use your tiller if you have it and you do want to use it. Um, just consider conservation tillage and just barely scratching that surface. Like I said, I'm probably uh, touching it about a quarter inch, maybe a half inch at the most. Um, and then I'm blowing that thatch back over to add his coverage. So get outside, enjoy the outdoors, guys. Vitalizeseed.com.